Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Cooking With This Guy, that's uh, me. Uh, I hope you're all very well. In today's video guys, we're going to write a wrong. <sighs> this, this boils my blood, you know. Uh, as a, as a, a proud Irishman, to see this, I was shocked and appalled. Um, I put a video up here. It's your man, uh, Jamie Doran from the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Uh, he's an Irish man himself. He should know bloody better. But he he was on a late night TV show there a while back and he made a, um, a crisp sandwich. But the way he made the crisp sandwich is just... Well, it's just, it's just wrong, you know? It, it shouldn't be done like that at all. It, like, it, it, it's absolutely shocking. So, look... I put a video up here, you can see what he did. He put he put mayonnaise on the bread for a start, which is a, a complete another travesty. You don't put mayonnaise on the bread. You put you put dairy goat um on the on the bread. And then he put ham and then he put some sort of crappy American crisps on it. Uh, anyway, look. I'm gonna write around today for, for, for him. Uh, and but also to show you the wider world of the internet how a crisp sandwich should be done uh, in my opinion <laughs> okay so there are several elements to the best crisp sandwich you've ever had in your life okay um i think the first and the, and the most important is the type of bread that you use now look i'm using a a thick white slice pan. See there, and you get this. You get this in in your local shop, or whatever. You want the bread to be slightly thicker than the normal slice pan, right? You know, very simply, we're going to take out two slices of bread. We're going to put some butter, dairy gold butter, onto it. No bloody uh, mayonnaise on this, now, lads. No mayonnaise. Um, I how did I don't know how he did that. It really, it really does annoy me. It shouldn't annoy me that much, but it does. The important thing is to get a fresh pan, a fresh uh, loaf of bread, right? And it is important. So, look. As you can see, two lovely fresh pieces of Irish bread. Okay. And what you want to do, you want to make sure that the whole sandwich gets buttered, right? Really important. So. As you see there, guys, all the way around the sandwich. Look at that. Everywhere. I want every little piece of that sandwich buttered properly. Yeah, to the other side. Take your time with this. You don't, you don't, you don't want to throw this together. You want a situation where you're going to, when this is done, you're going to be like, holy <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. All right, guys, so as you can see then, the bread has been fully buttered. All right, all right, now, next thing. For me, I think a crisp sandwich just needs a little bit of something else in it to make it well, what it is. Now I know Doran put ham into, into his um, sandwich. And look, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not afraid of trying new things, you know, but I think the, the fundamentals of, of making what is a truly Irish classic, like a crisp sandwich, you need to kind of stick with the, the basics, right? Uh, I'm gonna put one slice of cheese one slice of cheese, only one. One slice of cheese onto the bread, okay? To finish off a crisp sandwich, or, or a, a Irish uh, crisp sandwich, you need a bag of crisps, don't you? Um, or as you Americans say, uh, potato chips. Um, so, what I've gone for, there are other uh, types of crisps here in Ireland, right? Potato. Potato have, they're uniquely Irish, you know? Um, 
So we're gonna go with a, we're gonna go with Tato today on this crisp sandwich. All right. So there is a technique putting the crisp onto the sandwich. Open the bag as you would. Okay. Now it's important to have the bag in your hand like this, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn and place, turn and place. All right. So turn and place. See that? Perfect. Yeah, what we want to do here is slowly lift the bag up and turn, right? So we want, we want the maximum amount of bread and cheese that is covered by the crisp as possible. So, lift, 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 okay, very good. Now you will have a mound in the middle here, right? You wanna you wanna move these crisps around just a little bit. So when the other slice of bread goes down on the sandwich, you have an amazing snack. Look at that. Like I'm drooling right now. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Right. Now the next bit, we need to crown. Our amazing sandwich. Okay, now, I can't stress to you the importance of this. You wanna put the slice of bread onto the crisp sandwich, right? Push down slightly with a little bit of pressure. You don't want to put it too much pressure on this. If you put too much pressure on this, you're gonna ruin your sandwich, all right? So, slowly. Oh, slowly. That is a, a thing of beauty. Now, a small bit of pressure. You can hear the cracks. Hear that? Fan bloody tastic. Okay. Now, a crisp or two will always fall out, um, and and uh, it'd be rude not to not to try. It. Now. The slicing of the sandwich is important, right? A lot of people just go down the middle. Oh, wait. The only correct way of cutting the sandwich is diagonal. Okay? So, I'm gonna put a knife. Now, a good long sharp knife is ideal for this. So you're gonna put a knife like that, okay? You're gonna put your hand over it. You're gonna put, now, conviction lads, push down, yeah? And slowly bring it back. And that's it. Yeah. What I want to show you here, guys. Now, just look at that. This is. The best Chris sandwich you'll ever have in your life. I've been cooking with this guy. Talk to you next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah!